let's be honest, these last couple years haven't been the best in terms of products and like when to get things. Uh, so today I thought it would be great to just bring you along the building of this new secret lab. Magnus. Magnus Gaming Desk, 2022 edition. And on top of that too, I built a new PC as well. More info on that to come. We're not gonna, we're, we'll dive a little bit into it today, but not specifically. Oh my gosh. Presentation, Megan. So today we show what it was like to build this desk and this computer and my plans on continuing the man cave in 2022. Boom, intro music. Da, 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 da. Maybe we should have had the TV on just to really make it look cool in here. Okay, so man cave's coming along. It's been officially one week now since I made the decision. We're stepping away from this ultimate all-in-one setup. We're gonna have a gaming entertainment room, a, a studio, YouTube creative uh, brand studio out there to work with products. And I'm loving it. I think it's been great so far after a week, Megan. Do you like it? Is it? It's coming along very nicely. I would like it without all of your what do you got on the wall? Da, 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 da. There's stuff on the floor. There's tools. A desk full of stuff. That desk, it's. Wait a minute. No, wait. Um, uh, can we just? I don't know why it's there. Actually, we should just move that out to the garage. Either way, it's comfortable, right? Yes. We've already binge watched Cobra Kai in here. Season what four was that? Yes. Highly suggest. Quiet. Nonetheless, coming along. But anyways, today I just wanted to kind of share my experience on what it was like building this new desk. Secret Lab reach out to me and asked if I would like to review it after checking out their, their third Titan Evo chair, yes. right? We've done multiple videos on these. Highly recommend them. Again, not sponsored. Shit, every time, every time I go to make I a damn bridge. video, we'll be good, okay. Anywho, not sponsored by Secret Lab, but today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. We'll get to that here in a second. Anyways, I've worked with Secret Lab products for a few years now and they make good stuff. So when they were like, hey, do you want to test out the desk? I was like, yeah, absolutely. And my plans for 2022 with this setup, when it comes to like a gaming area is I wanted this. I wanted a small area. The desk is a little bit smaller than what I kind of expected. That will be in the, like the further review video. I don't feel like it's justifiable to give you guys a full in depth review of everything today, but it is kind of a review, mainly just the whole like, build process. Is it worth it? I guess that's kind of a review. Yeah, we're pretty much reviewing this today. So the desk came in earlier this week. Truth be told, probably should have waited for Megan to get home to build it, but knowing who I am, I did not. So this is what that experience was like. You know, truth be told, it would probably just been a lot easier to just like take it out of the box. How much does this thing weigh? Holy shit. Okay, teardown of the current gaming desk is currently done. And yes, for any of you nerds out there that are currently tilted about this, the computers are on the ground temporarily. This is not where they are all the time. On top of that, it's really not that big of a deal. During a period of time where I had my computers on the ground, people were just blowing up in the comments. You can't be doing that. You're gonna ruin those things. Yeah, that guy right there is five years old and still holding strong. But Biggie, you don't understand the things in your carpet. It's gonna get sucked up into your vans and it's gonna go into your GPU and it's gonna blow everything up. Do you guys not clean your floors? You're not like sweep? clean your carpets on top of that do you not have like risers on your pcs either way like they're not staying on the ground but good god i know the comments that are coming because they seen today that the pcs were currently sitting on carpet anyways regardless again this setup is currently tore down i'm going to keep these computers in their spots for the time being because eventually they will be going so today i just simply want to set up the desk and see how easy it is to set up the secret lab desk and yeah things are a little chaotic right now just give me a break i've been tearing down setups and everything working throughout this whole place for the last couple weeks so just take a chill pill today haters
So now that the desk is together, it's built. One of my only little gripes, obviously one gripe is, I can't really blame Secret Lab for this, but it came dented because of shipment. Shout out UPS. I don't I know. know. FedEx. FedEx, whoever you are, they're all shit anymore. They're overworked. Everything's getting shipped to people. I do get that. They are overworked. Everybody's like not leaving their houses anymore. Amazon is forcing everybody to ship everything. But it's like ever since 2020 hit, I've never had more packages come in damaged. The amount of boxes and stuff that we've gotten this year that were just like mm. shredded. The things that I shipped, remember? Mm. The mice and keyboards that had to get shit back to us, they're just chilling in the closet because they're broke because of shipment. Thank you to all the shipment servicemen. What do they call those guys? Delivery people? Yes. Thank you all the delivery people out in the world. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not hating on you, weird times, but get your shit together. What is really good about this desk is just how compact, tidy, and durable it is. Kind of like a Ridge wallet. How is that? Right? That's pretty, good. That's pretty good. So as I mentioned, today's video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. I personally have switched to the Ridge Wallet style a while ago now. It's like, what, been a year at this point? Me being a creator that's on the go, run and gun, constantly moving. When it comes to my wallet, I wanted something that didn't get in the way as much. For example, like this is my previous wallet and this is, this is empty right now. There's nothing in this. And just look how much bigger and bulkier that is. On top of that too, like these things just look badass. Look, look how sick it is. You got a little money clip on the backside. It's got this easy little push tab and slots to just pull out your cards as need be. Insanely durable. And the great thing about these is they go perfectly in the back pocket or if you just want to lug it around in the front pocket as well. And you'll notice too, while I was in my pocket, I actually carry their pocket knife as well. Today's video isn't even about their pocket knife. Personally, me, for my everyday carry, I always like to have a pocket knife. So if you guys want to snag a Ridge wallet, now's the perfect time. You can get 10% off by using my link in the description or at the bottom of the video here, or by simply using code Biggie at checkout at Ridge Wallet. Highly recommend. There's a reason why so many creators out there work with Ridge Wallet. That's because these things are awesome. So the only gripe that I really have, they really thought this desk out, which is great, but they don't give you room to mount stuff. So for example, can they see it? Can they see how this is mounted right now? This is how my camera stand is mounted. My camera stand that holds a $3,500 camera <laughs> set up is just gonna be mounted at an angle. You know why? Because there's just not enough room to clamp it on this desk. I feel like for like 600, whatever this desk is, like $600, ah! they should have thought outside of the box and been more convenient to people that have desk mounts. Because like, for example, I had a special order this new monitor stand because the typical standard monitor desk mount does not fit on this desk. The bolt is too big to go in like this little housing unit. And then anything to grip on the sides aside from this road stand is too small to actually get your little meaty meat, meat cooks in there. So you put me in a predicament, Secret Lab, because super easy to build, very convenient. Like the legs come out of the box, you just snap them in, bolt them in. This LED strip, that's magnetic. Straight out the box, they include these things that I have not put on there yet. Magnetic bumpers, cable management, a headphone, all these amazing little things. So it's really cool. Accessories compatible to that. Accessories compatible to that. Very cool stuff. I'm all for it. I actually, like, seriously do love that. It makes it easy because as somebody for years that's put a lot of money into building my own desk, it's nice to just have this thing where, like, just go here, buy this, you're one and done. Oh, and they give you... A little remote. A little remote. All in all, the desk fits my needs. This is what I need. I need something sturdy. I need something that comes with cable management so that way I don't have to dick with it. I need something that has these attachments and stuff. Easy to build, bada bing, bada boom. But again, I gotta call the fluff where it is. Not making it accessible to other, other accessories outside of its own brand, I think was, you missed the mark on that one. Especially because right now, they don't have, they don't have monitor stands, they don't have clips, they don't have mounts or anything for this desk available on their site. You have to find like third party stuff. You have to figure it out yourself. Get it done yourself. Hey, or spend spend $600 on a desk and figure it out, kid, okay? Just get it, just get it done. I feel like I'm bashing on it. I feel like that was a bit harsh because maybe they're eventually gonna come out with all that stuff. And since this is probably their first model, they're eventually gonna come out with all of the compatible accessories maybe they, that, that just clip in. And maybe they will, maybe easier. that's maybe they are working on that. Apologies, Secret Lab, if that is what you are working on. The only reason I just point a lot of this out is because like when it comes to their chair, it's just perfect. It's done, 
it's presented like it was very well thought. But when it comes to the desk, I can't believe that they would release it without those options. But yeah, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe they're working on them. Let's hope. But as you can see, there are mounts that do work with this. I will leave that at a link in the description down below if any of you guys are interested in, in this desk. Because this desk is actually amazing because where these ideas, well, it, like look at this. This whole entire top is a magnetic mouse pad. Now, granted, I don't like that texture because I'm like serious gamer when it comes to Apex. So I have to have like a higher end mouse pad for me. That's fine, but I could definitely see somebody using this. But when you take a step back and you think of like bells and whistles, at the end of the day, what are you using the desk for? You're using the desk to game. So what does it need to be? It needs to be sturdy. It needs to be comfortable. It needs to be at a good adjustable height. So one cool thing about this is you can actually adjust the legs. You can adjust the legs right here and the height on the bottom of the feet. Right now it's perfect for me. I like around that like 28 inch mark good little detail structure i like how we're getting my shot of like this insane you made it worse i didn't notice it until you touched it the insane high-end pc with plastic so this is not the plastic porn video that will come later you guys will see that later we're going to dive more into this as i as i get stuff set up in here but like i was just saying once you take a step back from the bells and whistles like get get a shot of get a shot of that so like the fact that you can just buy a table and this table in itself, and in like maybe a half hour to hour, if you have team help, I highly recommend you building this with somebody. But in that time frame, you can have a long-term, sturdy, reliable desk set up, ready to go. Like you're just done. This desk is definitely not for somebody that's trying to cut corners, save, and build their own. This desk is if you have the cash, you don't want to dick with shopping for a top, for legs, what do you get that's sturdy? You just want to do a one stop shop gamer desk, something reliable, long term lasting. It's it. I was shocked how sturdy it was, considering the fact that it's only on four legs. It doesn't have like cross mounts. Typically, in desks that you see four legs, you're going to see a lot of wobble. I've had a lot of desks throughout my years. Can I get a confirmation on that? Well, you can obviously tell because you have two in one room. <laughs> that is true. By the way, shout out to Elgato. I just got a package the other day for Christmas. It was a little delayed. Christmas. Elgato sent me a neon. I appreciate it. I'm not even like, I don't have any Elgato products. I'm not sponsored with them. Wait, I got a stream deck. Yeah. Not sponsored with them anyway, shape or form. Use their stream deck all the time. I speak by it. It's awesome. They make amazing products. I'd love to check out some Elgato stuff. I'd love to work with them. I guess hit me up maybe or something. I don't know what that face was. At this point in the video, if you were only interested in the Secret Lab desk, you can skip out. I just wanted to kind of like go into like the PC build. This new PC that I got. Yes, I finally built the PC. This is a little bit of what that experience was like. Oh man, do we have a big day planned for me. Officially, every part for the new 2022 creative content creator machine is officially in. Big shout out to Asus on supplying all these. Ultimately, the goal from this is to create a content creator machine, something that could literally handle everything. And this is like what I've talked about in many videos this last year. Why have two computers that initially do half ass work to make this one ultimate setup for you, having twice the cables, having twice the headache, when in reality this year you could just invest into one content creator machine. I truly stand by that. I think computers nowadays, whether you're you're recording and editing 4K content, you're live streaming, I think individual PCs, if you build it right, if you get it done correctly, off the rip, can do everything that you need in one machine. Sure, having two, having two computers is like, it's crazy, it's high production. Like you can do a lot with those computers, but is it necessary and is it really worth spending more money to have less, but to have two of less when you could just take everything that you have and the side money and invest it into one new machine this year. That is the goals from this. Obviously today we won't be able to test those because we're just gonna be building this, but like that's, that's the point. That's what I want to make from this. That's why Asus and I have decided to collaborate with this project. <sighs> I got a lot to do with this. A lot of building. Bro, 
I do not miss this. I do not miss, like, I really, I give credit to anybody that does this for a living. A lot of you guys and gals out there that don't understand, like, what you're paying for whenever you have like tech issues and you're just like, oh, I could I could just figure it out and do myself. Like you have to genuinely understand what these like technicians, PC builders know and like the routine and everything that they do every single day is it's absurd. It's insane. I like I always get so amped up to say like, yeah, I'm gonna start doing this and start building that. But God, once I'm like halfway through it, I'm like, I'm done. I tap. Go ahead, I'm out. No thank you. <laughs> Anyways, we are making huge progress on this today. Um, I should have it up and running, I hope. As long as like, you know, all the cables and everything goes good. But this is like the first time there's like, you know, special cables, there's like aesthetics, there's mounts, there's like additional things. This is my first like insane, incredible PC build where like during the process of me building it, I'm also trying to make sure that I cable manage and make it look good as well. Most of the other PCs in the past, like I just, I, I really didn't care to be quite honest. Okay, like I mentioned multiple times, the goal this year, clean up, minimalize, easy stuff. When I want to go to game, stream, or edit gameplay footage, I want to just, it, I want it to be easy. And having two PCs with a thousand cables and like a whole bunch of like extra mice and keyboard, I'm, I was over it. So I reached out to my friends over at ASUS and I said, listen, listen, is there a way, is there a PC in 2022 that you think that you could game at 1440p and stream and record at the same time? One PC to just do it all. ASUS said, Biggie, we thought you had a 4K 144 Hertz monitor. And I said, yeah, I do, but I thought one machine could do all that. And they were like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. There's a PC that could do 4K gaming, 4K recording and stream, 1440p, everything from one computer. And we built it and it's here right now. And I'm not going to tell you what's all in it yet because I want you guys to all make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on the notifications to this channel for that video to come in the future. You like that little hook? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. But no, seriously, the PC's built. I've tested it for three days now. You can go over to my gaming channel that's down in the description, youtube.com slash and you can actually go watch those streams. I was playing Apex Legends at 4K resolution, getting 155 frames per second while recording via shadow play. And I was streaming through OBS at 1440p, 60 FPS at a 13,000 bit rate. I was getting no frame tearing, no frame loss. All the stats from my OBS, there was no rendering issues, nothing. It did it all with ease. And for me, that's, I think that's a lot of load on the computer to do every day. I think it could probably handle it. But like for somebody like me that streams just a couple times a week to interact with that new like audience, like how I made a video about recently, I just want to have that quality and I want it to be easy for me. And it does it. So the PC's in, it's built, it's working. It does what it says it does. We're going to do a full video on that here soon on the channel. So make sure you guys are all subscribing for that. Overall though, if you don't have the money for the desk, I, I, I wouldn't say stress about it, but if you want a good, solid, long-term desk that's going to be easy for you to construct, you don't wanna to have to deal with shit, and you just you just want a good gaming throne. This sounds like a good word, right? Mm -hmm. Cause like it's, it's this whole area, it's like sturdy. It's dominant. Anyways, hope today's video was fun. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out, peace, deuces.